All right, all right. Good morning, guys. So these are the pre-market levels. Okay, so let's start off with the ES. Let's go ahead and break it down to the four-hour chart. Okay, so on the four-hour chart, let's go ahead and start with the top down. I'm gonna go ahead and mark the resistance at the at HOD high of day. That's a major resistance I want to pay attention to, and also this imbalance that we have, uh, which some will call a fair value gap. Uh, but I'm just going to mark it there because I've noticed in the past, I've noticed in the past that um, something will be made out of it. So let me go ahead and mark these levels real quick, guys. These are the levels I would be watching. What I like to do is I like to do, uh, I like to mark them on, on the two on uh, two on the four hour, and then I like to break it down to the one hour, and then I like to find two zones on the one hour. So here we go. Okay, that looks pretty good. Let's check out the thirty minute real quick. So I noticed this, this, this strong, strong, continuous buying that we're in. So for me to want to short, we're going to have to break, break this, right? Let's go ahead and break it down to the five minute. We'll look at SPY right after as well. I'm going to show you the levels that I will be trading today and what I will be looking for. Okay. This is the previous day high here. Yep, so this is going to be the time for today. Right. If you want to go long, let's wait for the uh, pre-market high to be broken. Let's watch this continuous buying algo that they're in here um, on the higher time frame. short let's wait for the previous uh, previous day close and we can use uh, the VWAP as a stop loss so this this is the trade setup that I will be waiting for on the ES this is my trade setup guys and these are the levels that we will be watching let's wait for the break of five seven nine nine zero for the long a clean break above that with the emas pointing in that direction and then for the short side let's watch for the clean break of the previous day's high previous day's close which is five seven five seven five oh uh using the vwap and pre-market as a stop loss that's what uh that's what the es is looking like let's go ahead and take a look at spy so today on SPY, let's go ahead and break it down to the four minute, four hour. So off the four hour right away, I'm gonna pick these tops where we plateau, right? These are major resistance levels. These are where institutions buy and sell, right? At these levels. And since we can identify these levels, we want to use these levels to our advantage. Okay, so those are the four hour uh, levels on the spy. Let's go ahead and break it down to the one hour. Anything that I notice, I noticed this big wick here on the one hour. I'm going to go ahead and want to mark this. There we go. Okay. That's looking good. Everything's looking good. And mark this as well. Okay, break it back down to the five minute. Let's look at the 30 minute real quick. Actually, we'll look at the 30 minute on trading view, but let's go ahead and break this down to the five minute. Okay, so by looking at SPY, right? So there's a couple ways that we can do this. Okay, let's go ahead and clear this. I see exactly what's going on. So for the long, we want to wait for the clean break of five six nine 
one three clean break above that and then for the short plain and simple you want to wait for the clean break of five six seven point six nine uh waiting for the emas to point in that direction looks like the emas are lining up to go bearish at the moment um let's wait for the clean break of the view app remember no shorts uh no shorts above the view app and no longs below the view app right let's keep it nice and simple today um I'm gonna, you know, I'm gonna hit it and quit it one and done today. As soon as this breaks, I'm gonna take a, a long position. I'm gonna be targeting, you know, probably this gap here and I'm looking for a couple points and I'm done. And then the same thing on the short side, I'll be waiting for the clean break of, um, of the pre-market low. We get a clean break with the EMAs pointing in that direction. I'm looking for just a couple points and I'll be done for today. Today is Friday right today's friday guys so um for those of you that have problems on friday right what i recommend is to size down uh what i've noticed for years and years is what happens is uh a lot of us give up our profits on uh on friday our hard hard-earned profits from from the week we give it up right we over trade and over leverage and try to make more than than what we have right and then than what we know so um what i recommend on friday is just size accordingly which means you know size down uh if you get two red trades walk away um wait for clean breaks wait for the direction and uh you don't want to go into the into the weekend with a bad taste in your mouth right with uh with a loss um you know the weekend is the for yourself to reset and to spend time with your family so those are the those are the pre-market levels for today